welcome back to my channel, guys. Hope everybody's having a great day. Now, Houston Rockets fans, I know you guys are going to be upset about this video, but hey, that's on you. Now, listen, your GM, Darren Moore, has to stop talking. It's getting annoying because you guys haven't won anything. I can understand if you guys did win something that it would mean something in that regard. It doesn't mean anything when you keep talking when you haven't won. You guys had Golden State in your home on your home court, your your turf. They was on your turf. They was on your block, and y'all lost. That's on y'all. That's on James Harden for not wanting to hit shots today. He just want to get calls all the time. Listen, I'm going to keep it real. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Sorry. I feel how I feel. I say what I say. I mean what I mean. Now, if you guys want to get Jimmy Butler, a lot of people think it's not it's not cool at all. Jimmy Butler is going to be a headache. Steve Nate Smith going off. He should stay in Philadelphia. Listen. If they feel like they have a real shot and Jimmy Butler can help come in and help right now, then do it. You can get some role players. You can bring back Iman Shumper, even though he wasn't the same. I know y'all going to say, Iman Shumper was the same and just different stuff like that. Listen, instead of keeping Eric Gordon, you're going to have to pay Eric Gordon next year. His contract's up, y'all. PJ Tucker has a team option next year, y'all. They might have, I think they, they have, he has a team option next year. Are you guys going to re-sign them? They're getting older. PJ Tucker's older. You going to re-sign him? Or are you going to re-sign Eric Gordon? Austin Rivers' contract coming up. Iman Shumper's contract is up. Nene, I think his contract is up. Clint Capella got a long contract and didn't show up in the playoffs. What y'all going to do? It's your move. What you going to do now? The Golden State Warriors ain't the same. What the Houston Texas, no, Houston, sorry, Houston Rockets going to do? Apologize for that. What are y'all going to do instead of having your GM talking and people leaking stuff out the organization? Because that's what sources is. That's what sources are. People looking stuff out of the organization or even GMs, president of basketball operations, because I and sometimes maybe even owners, if they want to get out the narrative that they want to get out. Stop leaking stuff. If if it's not the people at the top, then some people are probably in the middle at the bottom. Okay, whatever. Something's going to leak regardless. But at the end of the day, you need to tell your GM, the owner, to stop talking and let's get serious and win championship. I mean, you've been serious. Ser serious. But now, Golden State Warriors is done. What are we going to do? It's our move. The Lakers are getting up their team. What are we going to do? They gonna make, the Lakers going to make the Bells next year. What are we going to do now? We were this we were this close, so close. What are we going to do now? How are we going to get the championship when the Lakers are coming up? Utah just got Mike Conley. The Portland Trailblazers is going to be good no matter what in the Western Conference. Oklahoma City is probably going to come back with a vengeance because of how they lost. The Clippers, are if they get a max superstar... They might make the playoffs. And if they don't get a max superstar, they might be eighth. What about San Antonio? DeJounte Murray's coming back. You still got DeMar Rosa. You still got LaMarcus Aldridge. Say if they move LaMarcus Aldridge back at power forward and they get a center. They get a DeAndre Jordan. Or they get somebody. They get a center that can come in. What about a Vujicic? I know they're probably going to I'm just throwing out names right now. Say if they go get a legit center, put LaMarcus Aldridge back at power forward, DeMar Rosa in that small forward, your shooting guard, Marco Bellinelli, and everybody else that's on the roster. Patty Mills is still there. DeJounte Murray's come back. Derek White is still there. You still got Greg Popovich for the next three years in the Western Conference. When was the last time the Spurs missed the playoffs, y'all? The Spurs have not missed the playoffs, I think, since before two, the year 2000. They won a championship in 98 to 99. Then, obviously, Lakers won 99 to 2000. And then, 2000, they won two. I think the last time the, the Spurs did not make the playoffs was in 1997. 1997 was the last time that the Spurs missed the playoffs. You think you're just going to miss it now? You got Greg Popovich, one of the best coaching stats, R.C. Buford and those guys over there. So the Spurs are still going to be around. The Lakers is back. Portland, Oklahoma City, Utah. That's five teams right there. Who's dropping out? Are you going to be the one to drop out with the same team? Maybe not. Maybe you guys, like I said, you guys can going to playoffs, in my opinion, next year. But what are you guys going to do now? Instead of having Daryl Morey keep talking, oh, yeah, it's about Golden State. Last two years. Okay, listen, I know y'all almost beat Golden State the year before this past season that just ended. I know you guys almost beat them. Chris Paul got hurt. Okay, he got hurt. Accidents do happen. He got hurt. And he got hurt. The next year, Kevin Durant got hurt, and y'all still didn't take advantage of that. Now something actually happened to another team. Something happened to another team that got hurt, and yet you guys didn't capitalize. I understand, but it's Daryl Morey running his mouth because now Golden State is incentivized to make sure that they keep you guys from winning the championship. Because Daryl Morey keeps coming out every single year. It's about Golden State. It's about, shut, stop 
talking. Just let them go out there and do what they do. If they fail, then you just blow up the team or something like that. I don't know. Ain't nothing wrong to me. James Harden, he's an MVP. He's done all the things he does. He, he's done everything offensively that you can do in the league. Now it's time to get better. Clint Capella, I don't know if he's going to be there for the long term. I think they said as reporting as of this video that I'm recording that they have a team, but they're not going to trade him unless they get Jimmy Butler. Maybe Jimmy Butler will work. Maybe it's not going to be as bad as it seems. He's a no-nonsense guy, and he wants to get after it because he wants to win. You give him a mass contract. You trade him. You ain't going to get rid of some talent, but you bring in some veterans who want to win. You bring in some veteran guys on a veteran minimum contract that wants to win. You could bring back a Jared Green. Bring back Ken Reed that you guys didn't use in the playoffs. Jared Green, like, where are these players that are supposed to play? Like, they played in the last year's playoffs and played well, but this year they weren't used. What happened? And Mike D'Antoni, he's on one of your contract. I think they might move on for him if their money's not right. Houston has major problems right now, and this team needs to get it together if they want to win a championship in the next two years. Your window is about to close if you guys do not get after it this year because other teams in the West, the West Conference is going to be stacked this year. The Suns, if they get players. So you guys, Houston Rockets fans, you're probably going to be mad when you see this video. You're probably going to dump. Listen, like I said, I mean what I say. You guys have to tell your GM to stop talking and just get after it. That's all I got to say about that. Get Jimmy Butler if you need to. If you don't, keep the same team. And let's see what you do when Golden State being knocked down. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'll be back with more videos. Until next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.